Well, Nick, um, you're now, I think you're the fourth player to go back to back in West Coast history. That must mean a lot to you. Uh, yeah, it does. I guess it's a proud moment. Um, I think, you know, I played alongside a few of those guys that have gone back to back. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't the ideal finish to the year, and um, that always hurts. But, you know, to know that I've played the majority of the games or all the games was um, something I could probably hang my hat on. And from where you came from two years ago, all those injuries, you come back and you've had two, probably your two best seasons, really, personally. Two BNFs, two All Australians. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, I think I'll look back on it and, and be very proud of it. At the moment, it's um, business as normal, but uh, yeah, to go through what I've been through over the last probably you know four or five years, it's oh, I think it's a testament to our physios and all the guys that have looked after me and sacrificed so much. Because yeah, never would I have thought that I'd be um, you know being back to my best or if not better. So that's been a good couple of years. Do you think some people wrote you off a little bit after the injuries? Oh, big time! I think a lot of people did, and they had the right to. Um, Doing two ACLs, I know a lot of players that have done that. Um, it's not, it's rare that you get back to um, playing consistent footy or playing to your best. So, uh, yeah, I think they were fair in doing that, but um, it also drove me to be better and get better as well. What do you improve Yeah, um, I can improve heaps. Um, oh, I get jealous, but I look at guys like Max Gorn and what he did on, in that third quarter last week. I can do that, that's an improvement. So um, there's a lot I've got to add to my game still. Um, and it's also about bringing those around me uh, and making them better as well. So um, I'm looking forward to the pre-season. Uh, I'm not used to not playing you know, in the final series. So um, for me, I've got a lot to work on myself, but as a team, we have a lot to work on as well. And Brownlow comes up on the weekend. So you've won a club champion award. Can you go around the Brownlow? Nah, Ruckman don't normally tend to poll too well on the Brownlow. Um, yeah, I think I'm just there to make up the numbers, but fingers crossed some of the, the smaller mids um, poll well on Brownlow night. What was the, um, I mean, we were all, every speech seemed to have a similar tone tonight. Frustration um, and itching to get back for next year. Is that the mood? Oh, yeah, 100%. I think, especially because the finals are being played here and the grand final is going to be here, uh, it makes it more real. Um, you can't really escape it as well. I think some years, if you don't make the finals, uh, you can escape it um, by being in WA, but... Now that it's here on your doorstep, um, it's in your face every single day. So, yeah, everyone's keen to get back, everyone's eager to get back, which is a good sign. Uh, and, you know, some clubs are happy with finishing ninth, finishing tenth, but I guess being such a successful footy club, uh, it's just not what is accepted every week, so uh, every year. So, uh, yeah, boys are excited to get back, which is a good sign. Yeah. Yeah, I think as a playing group, we've, we've been pretty good. Um, we've been pretty united, um, but there's always a, a bigger scope to get better and be closer as a group. But uh, I think you probably came from the aspect of, I, know, I guess, footy being played still in this, in this state while we're not playing. And, you know, some of our supporters, some of our critics, um, you know, will be giving it to us over the next few months uh, until round one comes around again. So it's more about staying together, um, looking after each other and, you know, being, being successful uh, next year. So I think it comes from that, that point of view. Yeah, I'm a bit of, um, how do I say, I'm a bit negative when it comes to grand finals. If we're not in it, I don't really care who wins. But um, no, I just hope for a good game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go along and have a watch. I think the majority of the playing group will because it's a good experience to see um, everyone on the biggest stage. So uh, I think Melbourne have been the team to beat all year, um, albeit I think the Bulldogs did beat them this year. So, uh, But I think, yeah, it's going to be a close one, but I think Melbourne will get over the line. But um, from a player's perspective, I think we just hope it's a good spectacle. You got people asking here for tickets every day for the... It's hard to get a ticket. It's hard to get a ticket, especially because it's in WA. So um, we don't get any special access. Um, but yeah, everyone's asking, but they can keep asking because we can't get any extras. Just on, on the club, uh, obviously you've had two fantastic seasons, but your clock is ticking. Can this team still go all the way and get you that flag that you missed out on and a couple other guys did? Yeah, I think so. Our older guys are, um, you know, we've, we've what people forget as well is that a lot of our older senior players that, you know, perform consistently miss big chunks of the year. Guys like Elliot, Elliot Yo, Luke Shuey, Jeremy McGovern, Tom Barras all miss chunks of games. So we get those guys fit and, and, and playing every week. But some of the development that it um, opened up by those guys being injured through our younger guys has been, um, been amazing as well. So I look forward to the growth in those guys and to showcase what they can showcase uh, next year and the years to come. So I think it's still open. People can write us off. People write people off all the time. Like you said, I was written off a fair few times when I did my second knee. So it makes you better, makes you hungrier and um, keep doing it.
in the ruck, I think, yeah, it's been a tough one. We've always juggled. We've always traditionally played two rucks here at West Coast. So uh, with Nathan Vardy going, it does hurt a little bit. But we've got guys in, in the waiting. Um, Bailey Williams, if he can get his ruck craft, um, you know, up to speed, he can complement his forward craft because he's a pretty good forward player. So, um, yeah, I think we do need help. Um, every team's doing it. Even Max Gorn, you know, he's the All-Australian ruckman. He's got Luke Jackson up forward who can help chop him out. So uh, I think it is a potent weapon to have. So, yeah, we've just got to develop the guys that we have. Uh, yeah, I'd like to add a bit of scoring stuff, but I think what I do around the contest is pretty good. Um, I don't know, I've always scored in the past. I think I've kicked over 100 goals in my career, which not many ruckmen do. So people, people tend to forget what you've done in the past. So for me, it's like, yeah, if I'm playing what I'm doing and, and it's helping my teammates, I'm happy with that.